summer I got my license and I was very excited to begin driving to school actually. And as I began driving to school, I noticed how bad our parking lots here are at, at HSC. There are countless potholes that can cause cars to develop pop tires or sometimes individuals try to avoid the potholes so they swerve onto incoming traffic, which can be very dangerous. So this is part of the reason why HSC parking lots are a big problem. The other reason is the barely visible white lines. I, I've had my own experience with this problem because one morning I was coming to school and it was raining pretty hard and I was wanting to park closer to the school and I saw a parking spot near the front and I tried parking there but then when I began to turn in the car next to me was very over the white line but then again I couldn't blame the car because the white lines are barely visible. So with that being said, the HSC parking lots desperately need updated. But the question is, how am I going to contribute to that problem? Well, I, I, I first needed to find out who were going to be my sources. I gathered a total of four sources. My first source is Matt Kegley. He's the principal here at HSC High School. I knew he was possibly not going to know, like, know how to fix them, but he could guide me in the right direction. So I went ahead and sent him an email, but he took a while to respond, so I went ahead into a different path. And I then emailed the my second source, the Department of Public Works. I found this, I found this <laughs> Department of Public Works because on their website it said that they were connected to HSC High School, and it said that they handle all their grounds maintenance and snow removal needs. So I did not see anything on their, like that they handle HSC's parking lots, but I just went ahead and emailed them to see if they had in, any information that would be helpful to me. So they emailed me back and told me that they had no, like they had no connection to the parking lots here at HSC, but they said that they can help me if I had any questions. So then I went on to my third source, Jim White. He's the director of transportation at HSC. After I emailed him, he told me to go ahead and talk to Mr. Kegley, which I already did. So then I just went up and followed back with Mr. Kegley and I sent him another email. And he then responded and he set up a meeting with me. So after that meeting, he answered a lot of my questions. He talked to me about how the parking lots may not be updated because of funds and um, how no one and how no one might not be letting the school know that the parking lots needed updated. So he was very helpful to me. And he then sent me to the contact Bill Taylor. Bill Taylor is a mechanical maintenance supervisor here at HSE. I contacted Mr. Taylor and he was my expert in this project as well. And he was very helpful with answering my questions. He set up a meeting with me and one of the site engineers, Karen Collins. They explained to me that the both of the parking lots needed updated, the athletic and CCA, but the oldest one would go first, so that would be the athletic. And they gave me this picture showing that they're updating the athletic parking lot in the summer, and they're also doing the road by the softball fields in the summer. And they explained to me that if they had enough funds that they would do the CCA parking lot right here. So, so from this, these past nine weeks I have been really challenging, not knowing who to contact or if someone was going to respond. But uh, knowing that the athletic in the road by the softball fields is getting fixed is outstanding. The next step in my project will be trying to see if, the, if we have enough funds to allow the CCA to get redone. And if not, how can I contribute to getting the CCA redone? Thank you. Do you understand the competition for money within a school corporation? HSC is the fourth largest school corporation in the state. Yeah. So did you investigate at a higher level the competition amongst all the different schools to get this kind of money? Yeah, they, um, when I met with them, they talked to me how funds were a problem because of how many schools they have to deal with in the HSC school district. And they said that the, this is what they allowed. So if they were going to look at the funds again and 
how I explained to them that the CCA needed updated, like even the white lines for that. And they said that they would talk, like see if they can do it, but if not, then um, they said that I could like see of ways to fundraise money to get it redone. Point of clarification, um, Abby, CCA, I, I didn't catch that initial. It, um, yeah, this is, part of the yeah. Right this is what we're in right now. So it's the parking lots uh, right out there. And it's like the newest one, but it's still in pretty poor condition. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think you did a great job of getting get your homework done here, talking to the right sources, it seems like. In your opinion, what would make this a successful project? From, you, from a personal standpoint, how would you gauge your success in this? If I could, if I could get the CCA redone, because right now that's not really like, like for sure. Like those two are getting done for sure in the summer. But if I could help contribute in any way to getting the CCA redone, like of even raising, I think you know maybe raising the parking taxes one or two dollars just to help and see if that's just like a little fund that we need. If there's not enough funds for. So that, so that's the the uh, the uh, pot of gold of being the rainbow is, is getting that done along with all this other stuff. Yes. Yeah. I'll say maybe who who had the painted uh, parking spaces? Okay. I'll say maybe you two could team up. Yeah. And think about doing this together as like a fundraising thing for you to get that done, and then you can also double team on doing the senior parking at the same time. Yeah. Oh, that's just a, that's just a thought. Thank you. You know, one other thing. Um, that I would mention, Abby, I don't know who did the parking lot where I parked this morning, mm -hmm. but it was almost ideal. Mm -hmm. Very wide parking spaces, clearly demarcated. Mm -hmm. uh, and I thought, man, this is really nice. Where did you park at? Uh, the staff. The they're, yeah, park they're park. in the staff lot right outside the door, right up in my classroom. And there so were plenty of empty spaces. So, yeah, there were not. Uh, and I particularly appreciated, if you have a nice car, the <laughs> wide spaces. Mm -hmm because I'm clearly within the space and probably that far from the next car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree that the, the student parking lot is much different. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, my, my, my question to you would be, with all the experts that you spoke to, did anybody give you an estimate as to how much it would cost to fix the parking lot? Right here? No, um, they did not because they wanted to look over funds again to see if there was any left over, and then they were going to contact me to let me know. So I was going to follow up with Bill Taylor and see. But nobody told you how much it would cost, where the money would come from? No, they okay. did not. Was this a plan that was already in the works, or did, did you help? Yeah, this plan was already in the works when I met with them. Okay. But they, like, explained to me, like, what they're doing to the athletics. Like, they're taking it all out and, like, repaving it all new and then doing the white line. So it's going to be, like, brand new. Yeah, maybe one thing. As you go along here, because you said you know, you're looking for fundraiser ideas, mm -hmm. that's your solution right there. If in case these things fall through and you can't move it forward, then present some solutions and some ideas that you can do to help contribute from your side, rather than just acting like a manager or a liaison with yeah. these, these administration groups who are really have zero in their power. Have a solution based, um, a results oriented solution based that you can contribute um, on your level and your fellow students can help solve the problem. Okay. <coughs> I would just to echo what Chris is saying. I mean, I honestly think that if the money existed, it would get done. I mean, I've, I've seen the parking lot too. It's in bad shape. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, Chris is right when he says find solutions to the money mm -hmm. problem, right? And then, you know, what reasons really are left to say no to fixing the parking lot? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because I think, I mean, I think if the stack of cash were sitting right here, then we can make it happen over the weekend as long as it doesn't mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And if you were to, like, make a fundraising effort and to generate support for it, mm -hmm. then those groups will also be impressed that you're doing that at your level. Mm -hmm. And then we'll still look even farther into fund to see if they can find anything else to help. And I mean, there's even temporary solutions to the potholes mm -hmm. in the student parking lot. Because, I mean, those potholes are huge. Mm -hmm. I hit one pulling out of the parking lot like yesterday and I thought my front bumper was going to fall right off. They're not so, happy yeah, like <laughs> they, they really are. 
So, it's, I mean, there you can patch potholes, mm -hmm. and but they're just sitting there, and they've been sitting there for like two months now, mm -hmm. and it hasn't been, nothing's been done. Yeah. So, I mean, there are temporary solutions that you can look at and talk to a retailer to see mm -hmm. if we can have those filled and until we can get the funds to do the entire project. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And that, that's a good point because it's a big difference between repaving the whole parking lot yeah. and patching them so that the potholes out there. It's still not perfect, but if you can't repave it, that's a lot less money. You might have a better chance of fundraising something like that. Fundraising a whole resurfacing might be yeah. more a challenge. Yeah, and you can even play that it will be safer for the student's mm -hmm. card. Yeah. And then they'll be like, okay, let's have the student. Yeah. <coughs> so. Thank you. Alright, we need to get moving, so if you have more questions yeah. for Danny, you can